this is the time of year to talk about question marks, uh, the off season. But we've gone through all of them. We've done it before. Of all the question marks that we've pinpointed and analyzed, which one do you think will pan out in favor of the 49ers? Oh, gosh. So the one that I feel most confident about is the nickel corner spot. Because hmm. I, the way I look at it is, if Verrett's healthy, there's a good chance that Mosley moves inside. Obviously, very confident in Emmanuel Mosley. Love Emmanuel Mosley. But even if that's not the case, to me, Womack, I think, I, I really think the world of this kid. I think he can be a great nickel corner when it's all said and done. You know, a lot of these nickel corners aren't necessarily highly touted coming out of college because it's kind of a niche position. Right. And so when I hear you say things like, well, he does really good in man coverage, he gets lost a little bit in zone. I think that's one typical of a young corner. Two, I think that's typical of a player that's used to playing outside. But I think that the 49ers, at least early on, are going to play a lot of press man in the secondary. Like they're going to do a lot of cover one. And so because of that, I think Womack fits that perfectly. So either way, whether it's Mosley or whether it's Womack, I feel very, very confident about that nickel corner position. Yeah, that's fair. And I like what you said at the beginning. Like, they have Emmanuel Mosley. To me, they're, they have three good corners. Mosley, Ambry Thomas. Maybe it's, it's a stretch to call Ambry good, but he was improving, and he's young, and he's talented, and also Emmanuel Mosley. Excuse me. And also Traverius Ward. So – if no one, if, if Womack isn't ready and Lenore isn't good enough, uh, they can eventually, D'Amico eventually can get his best three corners on the field. So that shouldn't be an issue. I just wonder how long it'll take for him to put Mosley in the slot if he needs to. I'm with you, but I'm, I'm going to stay on defense because to me, no matter what happens on the defense, they're a top five defense. Yeah, so like, let's talk about the nose tackle spot. Everyone's saying, well, you know, so much depends on Javon Kinlaw this year. Eh. In retrospect, like if it ain't him, it'll be Hassan Ridgeway, probably. You know, yeah, I agree. I, I like Kasarik likes Ridgeway. Ridgeway seems like he's probably, I mean, he's not going to be as good as DJ Jones, but he'll probably be able to stop the run. And that's all they really need from that nose tackle spot. They don't need pass rush from that spot. So I'm not really concerned about that spot either. Though, I mean, actually, the biggest concern I have on defense is strong safety. Yeah, I agree with you. That one I'm not confident. Nose in. tackle, but they they are all in with Talano as strong safety, and if it ain't him, then it ain't nobody. So I'm curious on that one. Yeah, I'm I'm very curious on that one. The one thing that I, I will say, the saving grace for that position is, first of all, Jimmy Ward has to has to stay healthy. That's one. But two, if they are going to do what I expect that they're going to do, which is a lot of cover one, a lot of press man, that means that Hafunga, if he is the starter gets to play in the box, which he is very comfortable there. And he shows a lot of instinct there. Mm -hmm. So the speed, the cover two stuff, the things that maybe Tart was expected to do, you wouldn't necessarily expect Hafunga to do. But I agree. I still have a lot of question marks. I don't trust Hafunga all the way, especially if he does have to play in a two deep zone. I, I don't See, like that. I think they're going to avoid putting him in man-to-man -man coverage. Like They're never going to let that happen. So I if they're agree. playing cover one or what, like if they have Jimmy Ward man to man on the strong safety, which they love to do because he's the best at it, you're going to see a lot of Talanoa playing center field. And yeah, he's slow, but he's supposed to be instinctual. So let's see him make some plays, man. Like you got the whole field in front of you. You can use your instincts. You can see things, make some plays.